I have a very extraordinary video today about grief. It's from Roya, they're from Denmark, and I'm calling them in advance the new Yazoo. Yazoo were an 80s pop icon group consisting of Alison Moyer and Vincent Clark and came out with Don't Go and many other hits like Situation and so on and so forth. They went on to have equally successful solo careers apart from each other and Vincent went on to partner many other people. Now back to Roya. Roya are from Denmark. They have come together to compose a fabulous song. It really is. Their single is called Cruise. This, their unique method of creating songs through fan base interaction is currently causing a big stir globally. Heading from the picturesque coast of Denmark, the electronic pop duo are currently conquering the global music scene. Remember their name, everybody. With honest lyrics and a lively, edgy and danceable sound, they are currently captivating audiences everywhere. Everyone that listens to them. After several radio hits, successful tours and the release of the debut EP, Dear Space, last year, Roy House started a musical journey and become a viral sensation. They are the new, I'm telling you, in 2024 now, you've heard it first here on my channel, Yazoo. If you love Yazoo of the 80s, you are going to, if you're young people and you've heard your parents play their music and said, well, they're pretty cool, but I prefer something a bit different. The, these two from Denmark probably fit that taste of music that you would enjoy now with pop. The story behind their single cruise is this. It began with an idea that Roya shared on their social media. And in several spontaneous sessions, the band's TikTok channel, the short clip eventually developed into a whole song. Now this, in thanks, is no small part to Roya's followers who watched the teasers of, uh, and millions of them got together. Well, not millions of people commented, but a lot of those millions that had watched gave their input and others gave their input and slowly and surely the song built up. It was like a bit of a jigsaw. So together with the other half of the duo, producer Sebastian, singer, La 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 singer Line has created a new house inspired track that almost has a musical therapeutic effect it really does it really has me i i, I can't wait to, to listen to it again now limited sounds and spaces and chopped vocal samples is what you're going to hear sorry about that and that's what you're going to hear so cruise is a song that unleashes the whole range of emotions this is not least due to the story behind it. Sebastian says the song is dedicated to a young family member who unexpectedly took a trip to heaven. And it's full of nostalgia and reminds us that even though we always want more time with our loved ones, it's also important to appreciate the memories and moments we have already lived. The cruises that we were able to experience together, that's what they call them. The electronically inspired pop duo is lively, has rough edges and works on any dance floor and it carries the vastness of the Danish coastal landscape with it. The lyrics are about a small and large weaknesses that we all have and like to sweep under the carpet. In the home country of Denmark, Roy have already caused a sensation. The epic said that, you know, the songs are just feet nominal and I agree. But I don't want to... I'll give the link to this story for you to follow through with the rest of it because of time and I want to go into what the meaning of the song and keep to the meaning because I have something else to say about the video. The song by Roya revolves around the theme of escapism, the desire for freedom and exp ex exploration. The repetition of the phrase, you want a cruise, just another cruise, conveys that longing for a carefree experience where one can simply transverse through life without being tied down by responsibilities or worries. It is about the cruise to heaven and this video is absolutely phenomenal that I found and came across. It's called Learning to Accept Grief and Loss. It's an animated short film called Undone. It appeared on the Expresso show some time ago and it's from way back from an student who 
all the short films that you see on YouTube enter competitions and this was one of those students that entered hers for a competition and this three minute animated film that you're going to watch called Undone in other words what has happened cannot be undone came from the animation school in 2018 and I want you to watch it with the, the song that is and I'm going forward just on this a little bit by Royer called Cruz it's a mix mash of mine I think it's perfect come back for the very brief analytics of the lyrics as soon as you've listened to this take it away Roya, and enjoy the new pop sensation that I am labeling the 2024 Yazoo After flying in ahead of the latest. everybody that was Roya and Cruz with my mix mash now I had to put it together live and we'll go on to what the lyrics were about I think it's beautifully put together in the verse how, how I wish I could catch the time and drive another mile want to seize our every way highway pattern from the sky that's the lyric suggesting a yearning to break free from the constraints of time and routine the image of driving another mile symbolizes that journey towards the unknown, 
while wanting to see the highway pattern from the sky, speaking to a desire for a broader perspective on life. The choice of the word cruise itself carries connotations of leisure, relaxation and adventure, reinforcing the idea for me of breaking away from the mundane and embracing a sense of wonderlust. The repetition of the phrase throughout the song reinforces an idea of craving an escape from an ordinary and seeking a sense of liberation, and especially when you are grieving of any sort. You want to cruise from one, from that grieving period, that darkness to the, to the light and feel the warm rays of hope and that you've got through a situation and you can move on. I feel overall Cruise by Roya can be interpreted in many ways as a reflection on the universe, longing for spontaneity, exploration and the thrill of an open road. The song's simple yet evocative lyrics capture that essence for yearning for a break from the routine and embracing a sense of freedom and possibility. And that is in relation to grief everybody because that's what I've tied it to and if you remember that's what I found with this particular group they had mentioned that themselves that if we go the story behind was shared on the social media and people added to it and added to it so it became edgy it became lively the sound was a bit dancey there as you heard and I think with that combination of balance it really does capture audiences. And I think, you know, you, you've got the voice and it sounds almost angelic. And it re, re, does release that, you know, whole range of emotions that we talk to. And as Sebastian said, it is dedicated to a young family member who unexpectedly took a trip to heaven. So knowing that, knowing that it can be interpreted the way I've explained. I try to balance a journey aspect to the video and the lyrics and tie it together and I hope I've succeeded. Thank you Roya, you'll be back again. You'll be cruising on my channel for the rest of 2024 into 2025, that's a certain. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and I hope you've enjoyed the video. Take care for now.